the morning of all of my all of the things that I bake this is the most requested thing that my family asked me to make it's called Judy's famous birthday cake I make it every year at least three or four times a year for my children for their birthdays it's plain but it's delicious so it doesn't have a lot of fancy decorations all we do is put some candles in and sing happy birthday okay so I'm going to start by creaming my butter so I'm using one and a half sticks or three quarters of a cup or six ounces of butter and I, it's a little bit room temperature so it's soft and I'm using my KitchenAid mixer with the paddle attachment to cream my butter. It's going to get light and fluffy and then to that I'm going to be adding my sugar which is going to be one and three quarters cups of granulated sugar, one and three fourths cups. After the butter gets light and fluffy. The, the color is light yellow in the mixer. And now to that, I'm going to add my sugar on a lower speed. Otherwise the sugar will just fly everywhere. So one, and then I've got to get my three fourths of a cup. I measure this way. I don't use ounces. I don't use a scale. I do it the old fashioned way, the way my mother baked and my grandmother baked. Here's my three fourths. Lower the speed, add it in. Now the mixture is a little crumbly, but I need to wait until it gets really incorporated. That's going to take at least five minutes of mixing for it to get light and fluffy. You can't rush this step because then your cake will turn out right if you rush it. It has to go, the timing, the measuring, everything is very critical when it comes to baking a cake. While this mixture is creaming and getting fluffier, I'm going to measure my flour, and I need three cups of sifted cake flour. I use this brand, Swan's Down, um, or Pillsbury Soft as Silk. Either one is fine. Cake flour is essential for producing a light and fluffy yellow cake, or a cake, or chocolate cake. But I need three cups, which is a lot. So I'm sifting. the mess. Okay, so that's good. Three cups of flour. To that I'm going to add my baking powder. Is two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, and a half. And my salt. one and a quarter teaspoons of kosher salt and i'm just going to mix this up a little bit okay. 
that's that. Okay, now this is ready, light and fluffy, ready for the next step. Room temperature eggs, one. After every egg, I beat it. Gotta get the stuff off the sides. Ready for the next egg. Woo! That egg must have been very fresh. How easily that broke. Getting fluffier and fluffier. Last, I'm only using an egg white. So, gently, I'll lift this up. And I add an extra egg white just for the extra lightness. Don't want the yolk. Just want the white. And that's that. Okay. Now ready for the dry ingredients. So with the dry ingredients, you go back and forth between the dry, starting with the dry, and then you move over to the wet. Do about two spoons. Now at this point, I just mix to incorporate. I don't want to beat it too much. If you over beat cake at this point, once you add the flour, it will make the, flat, the uh, cake not be as light. Okay, adding some milk. Back and forth between the dry and the wet. Dry. It's like I'm just pulsing till it's mixed. Milk. Dry. This is the rest of the milk, the wet ingredients, which is one and a quarter cups of milk. And then I need my vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract, which is gonna be one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Gives it that yummy vanilla flavor. Mix up the last of the wet. Before we get to the dry and I'm just going to dump the rest of this in that's it to get all the flour off the sides Of my beaters before I give a last good mix. That eight seconds done. Last thing I have to do is I have to grease my pan, which I could have done earlier, but I didn't. 
with butter. Okay, I'm ready to pour it in. Pour in the batter. I'm gonna get everything off of the beater also. You can see this is gonna be a super fluffy, fluffy cake. Going to shake, shake the batter out to try to even it. It will even out in the oven anyway when it when it bakes. Try to get it into all the corners, and now ready to go in. Three hundred and fifty, almost up at the temperature. So it goes for three hundred and fifty for about. 25 to 30 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean, and I'll show you how that works. Okay, now it's time to make the amazing chocolate icing for the amazing vanilla cake. So first I have a box, one pound of sugar, confectioner sugar. Some people call it 10X. Some people call it icing sugar. So I'm gonna have to sift that first. I'm melting one stick of butter and I just sifted my one pound of confectioner sugar. And what I'm doing is I'm just removing two thirds of a cup because I need everything in the one pound except for the two thirds of a cup. Now I'm going to melt my butter and I'm adding my chocolate. So this is Baker's unsweetened chocolate and I'm adding seven ounces. So I'm adding one four ounce box. So seven ounces and here, I have to move around the chocolate because you cannot burn chocolate. So I'm doing it on a low flame and I'm moving around the chocolate and the butter so the chocolate doesn't burn. And I'm gonna keep doing this until it's all melted together. 10 tablespoons of whole milk. Now I'm gonna start mixing. I also need a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Start mixing. Until this turns into frosting. All the sugar will dissolve in here. It's very dark. I have to whisk it now just to get all the sugar lumps out. So it's totally, totally smooth. It's on a low heat. starting to get creamy. You need a little muscle power. Okay, only thing I need to do now is add my half a teaspoon of vanilla. It's the last thing. Mix again, the vanilla will give it a sheen, a very shiny gloss. And now I'm ready to spread it on the cake. Here we go. Bread. You can decorate it any way you like. It's 
going to harden up a little. And that's it. Just going to cut him a slice and we'll see how it came out. Oh, can I have a middle slice? Oh yeah, sorry. Like from here? Yeah. Okay. He likes the middle slice better than the end slice because it's not as well done. Yeah. Is that why? Here it comes. Very fluffy cake. Ooh. Wow. Okay, see how it is. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it smells delicious. Mmm. Oh, that's heavenly. Oh, that's so good. It definitely meets with my approval. The cake is very moist. And it contrasts with the sweetness of the icing so well. Don't you need some milk? Oh, yeah. It's very rich. <laughs> you need the cake to offset the rich icing and the milk to wash it all down. And that is the best birthday treat in the world. Mm. Bye. All right, see you next year. <laughs>